Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Nitro Cheap Thrills. This board features Nitro's flat out rocker, so it's gonna be flat through the inserts with rocker in the tip and the tail. This is gonna give it a very skate-like feel to it, where you're steering it more underfoot, as well as a better area in the nose and tail to press and play around with. This board's available in 148, 152, 155, 155 wide, 157, and 157 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was mostly bluebird, a little bit warmer temps. You had some high, hot winds coming through, chop chunder, perfect corduroy, even found some hot pow in the shade, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. It's a jib stick through and through, so you can expect more play out in the nose and the tail. Slightly stiffer section where the flat is with a ton of torsional flex. You can really twist this board and it's not really reactive. It's just sort of like, well, you twisted it and now it's back to where it is. When it comes to stability, if you're in uneven terrain, expect to feel everything underneath you. If you get in a groomer, you're just gonna get some flap in the nose and the tail that's gonna resonate underfoot. I mean, it's a jib board. That's kind of what you can expect with it. It's soft. They claim it's middle of the road. I'd say it's slightly below, but it's playful and it's not the most stable. With the flat to rocker profile, it's got a skate-like pop to it. That means you can be a little more laid back. You don't have to aggressively load it up or be calculated. You can wait to the last minute, roll on the tail, and you're gonna get a little spring. Now, is it the snappiest board out there? No, no, it's too soft to be that. This board just wants to flex. You're not gonna be able to boost this thing to the moon. Hitting a side hit, yeah, you're gonna be able to pop. Going over a roller, sure, you're gonna be able to get it up in the air, but by and large, it's not gonna be the snappiest thing out there. And when it comes to jumps, that is very reflected in it. Small to medium-ish. I really stress that medium-ish part. You can skate pop off the lip. You're gonna get up, you're gonna come down, that's it. If you let it throw you, that's probably actually better for just the way this board's designed. Remember, keep your weight centered as it is flat to rocker. That way you're not gonna wheelie out. You wanna be able to just lock it in when you come down. Yeah, you watching this right now. Do you remember to click like? Good. Now why don't you subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, because you know you're gonna go down some weird YouTube hole and watch all of our reviews. So you might as well subscribe. So that way you're up to date on all the new snowboards out there and taking it from a trusted source. When it comes to buttering and jibbing, this is where this board shines. You got that flat to rocker profile with a soft flex. You lean back, you're in a tail press. You lean forward, you're in a nose press. It's torsionally soft, so you can really just swizzle it around, get sideways, have it lock in. And when you wanna pop out, what you put in is what you're gonna get out of it. You know, it's easy. You're not gonna have to worry about this thing hooking up on you. You're not gonna have to worry about it fighting you. You can just bend it to whatever dimension you want. And that holds true when it goes to jibbing. You hit a feature, you lean back, you're in a tail press. You can actually lean forward and go into a nose press. I like to pop into everything. So when you pop into a nose press, this board will really flex out over that rocker section. Same thing with the tail. You're doing a tail press, you pop into it. You're gonna be able to just bend that back knee and then just kind of tweak that front and really press it and poke it if you want to. When you go sideways, there's not a lot of guts to this board. It will clap out if you disaster hard onto a rail. You wanna kind of come down a little more gently, that way you're not just gonna have to worry about it smacking the sides, but when you're on it, it's really bent over it. You can feel it. Like I said before in this review, this board is a jib stick through and through. So you would think with a board this soft that it can't carve, you know, you're just gonna overpower it. And if you're doing deep, hard, aggressive carves, you would be right. But those short, tight, quick setup carves in the park or medium mellow carves, it's fine. It's got more than enough power to get you through it. It's when you really drive your knee in and you just push down and you're driving off that tail. So you're basically just torquing the board. It'll wash out on you. It'll happen. That's not what this board's designed for. But if you're being more laid back with it and you understand where the limitations are, you're not gonna have a problem. So if you absolutely do need to crank it, just be aware, you're losing power in the tail and it may kick out on you. But if you're just doing like those medium carves to get around some stupid friggin' lost skiers that are in the park, don't worry about it. You're not gonna have a problem. And remember to spray them as you go by. Rider in mind. So who's this board for? The skate inspired jib kit. You wanna support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I'm sure we made some content that we haven't put here for you. And if we haven't, 
Well, maybe we will. Check out Angry Snowboarder VIP. It's a fun little jib stick. It's playful. You can kind of just bend it to your every whim. You don't really have to worry about it. There's nothing much to this deck at all. I had fun with it. Would it be something I'd ride every day? No. In the spring slush? Yeah, it'd be great. Preseason park? Not a problem at all there either. Comparable boards, the Rome Gangplank, the K2 Geometric, the Capita Ultra Fear Reverse. Not the camber, the reverse. Binding recommendations, the Nitro Rambler, the Ride C6, the Union Ultra. All right, this has been my review of the Nitro Cheap Thrills. If you liked it, why don't you check out one of the reviews for one of the comparable boards or one of the binding recommendations. You know you wanna go down that YouTube hole.